Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. This will be your reading the next 48 hours. What's going on for Capricorn in the next 48 hours? And if you've been watching my channel, you know that you know the noise in the background my furnace going out oh my goodness yeah my furnace died so now I have to go through financing and all that kind of stuff to get that replaced if you're a homeowner you feel my pain but yes that is in the works so keep me in your prayers I totally appreciate it keep me lifted up as I keep you lifted up and you in my prayers as well. Okay, let's get into this. Enough about me. Okay, Capricorn, what's going on the next 48 hours? The next 48 hours for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you find Capricorn anywhere in your, in your chart, this reading is for you, Capricorn. Okay, we've got the Two of Wands. Beautiful energy. I feel like you may be at a crossroads. We have the Three of Swords that wanted to burst out there. You may be going through heartbreak, disappointments. But I feel like communication is coming through. You're moving past this energy. Yes, you definitely are. You have the world. So something has come to completion, Capricorn. You're going through a cycle. There's things that you've had to let go of in order to move past this. We have the Five of Cups energy. The Seven of Swords. Wow, somebody's stabbing you in the back. Someone's gossiping about you, Capricorn. They're talking about you behind your back. But you're not letting it bother you. You have the Ten of Cups. Wow. And the Lovers. Wow, okay. And we have, ending off, we have the Six of Wands. So you have your victory, Capricorn. You have success something coming through you know do you have people recognizing you they're looking at you they're noticing Capricorn at the bottom we have the Queen of Pentacles so yes Capricorn you get the last laugh you get the abundance the stability wonderful energy Capricorn Okay, we're starting out this reading with Two of Wands. This is a choice that you need to make. This is some kind of crossroads you're at. This is also you waiting for some kind of results. You're waiting for some kind of communication. And I feel like whatever this is, Capricorn, it's leaving you a little disappointed. You may be going through heartbreak. You may be going through some kind of separation at the moment. But I feel like, Capricorn, I feel like, in a way, you're not letting this defeat you. You're not letting this Three of Swords get in your way at all. Because you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow-moving energy. You may feel a little stuck. You may feel like it's kind of hard for you to get going. But this is a reliable person coming to save the day. This is also you having so much patience in the situation. You're working through this situation. You're working past it. So um, not to worry about this Three of Swords. This Three of Swords is being worked through. You're coming to a completion. Some kind of lesson you learned. Some kind of goal you reached. But this is pushing you to a completion. You're going to be starting a new beginning um, in the near future. 
and I feel like after that completion you realize that some things in your life just aren't made to stay some things in your life you we need to let go of so that better things can come our way if she just turns around and looks at those cups behind her she'll see that those cups are very abundant those cups are full this is things that she still has in her life not these things that have that need to be released not these things that just didn't work you know so I feel like you may see that there are some things that just don't work in your life anymore but I feel like there's there's still a need to be grateful for the things that are left because there is things that are still left that are very important very abundant very special to you you know so I, I feel like whatever you've lost is nothing compared to what can be gained if that makes sense okay Capricorn we have some betrayal here oh my goodness someone's trying to cross you someone's maybe talking behind your back but somebody wants to take something from you someone's trying to take something and I feel like you already know this for some reason I feel like you already know this situation because it's right underneath the, the three of swords but I feel like you you know this person who's trying to betray you you know about this person this person likes to talk this person likes to gossip spread rumors but someone's talking but it's not getting you down Capricorn I feel like you're you're thinking like if they're not talking about me I'm not doing something right you know that kind of situation I feel like you know, as long as you know that you have haters, you know that you're above the game. You know that they're just envious. They're just jealous of what you have, Capricorn. And I feel like whatever the situation is, it's not bringing you down. You're still moving on. You're still happy. They're not stealing your joy at all. They're just trying to be seen and you're like I don't have time for your mess just keep moving and look at this look what's coming through Capricorn okay if you're open to love there's love coming through in the next 48 hours you may get some kind of love offer some kind of love situation coming through um, this could also be a love that's already intensifying but I feel like in the next 48 hours, you have success. You have victory. You have something that others don't have. They are recognizing you, Capricorn. They are seeing you for everything you are and everything you got. They're just staring up at you like your royalty. All right, Capricorn. I'm kind of liking this. What else do we have for the next 48 hours, Spirit? Give me more message for Capricorn for the next 48 hours. The star. Yeah, whatever this Three of Swords situation is, whatever this Seven of Swords is, you have your healing. You are wishing on your star and your wishes are being granted. Um, your healing is here. So um, there's no need to worry. The star is also miracles, so believe in miracles, Capricorn. Um, having faith, being hopeful for a good outcome, that's all about the star. And I feel like that's exactly the position that you're in, Capricorn. Definitely the Queen of Cups. So... This may be this love situation is coming in for you. It may be the Queen of Cups. It may be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But 
The Queen of Cups, she's very thoughtful. She's very caring and nurturing. She's also being led by her intuition. So she's very intuitive and by nature she's very loving. So whatever the situation is, I feel like follow your intuition. Be guided. Some kind of new ideas are coming to you during this time, Capricorn. And I feel like these new ideas, these new ideas that are coming are going to bring you a lot of clarity. There's truth coming in. There's some information coming in that you need to know. Something coming through. But I feel like it's very vital. It's very vital information. Tell me some more, Spirit. Give me more information. Oh, two want to come out. Okay. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Okay. Spirit wants to let you know that there is going to be challenges. There's going to be obstacles that you're going to face. But don't give up. Persevere. Follow through. Um maintain a persistent outcome because the outcome is near you know um whatever challenges that you're going to face whatever you're going to go through i feel like they're minor things um that you will have victory over with this nine of wands energy you will have victory spirit wants to let you know hang tight see it through go to the finish line you're very close you know and even though you may be tired you may be overwhelmed um spirit says keep pushing on keep pushing on capricorn you're almost there definitely and you're almost there to your victory to your wealth this is you capricorn sitting on your throne this is your stability your solid foundation this could also be wealth coming through. Uh, the King of Pentacles, he's very wealthy. He's a good investor. He's also very practical, very um, good with money. So I feel like whatever this is coming through, it's going to bring you more stability. It's going to bring you a reliable sense of wealth. This is loyalty as well. And you have your support. Spirit wants you to know that you're fully supported. These are your family, your friends, your loved ones. Filling your cups. Being your circle of support. So, I, Spirit wants to let you know that you are fully supported in this. And at the bottom you have temperance. You have your balance. These are your cups being filled you know finding harmony having patience okay let's see let's get some monology cards for the next 48 hours what's going on for Capricorn the next 48 hours the next 48 hours meditate and contemplate stay grounded Capricorn. If you are feeling stressed or anxious, meditate on the situation. Listen very closely. Your angels want to speak with you. They want to help you find the answers. And like I said, I feel like you're supported. You're supported by your ancestors, your angels, God, the higher power. Uh, you have that support. And I feel like you'll find it a lot easier through meditation you'll be able to calm your mind and listen a win-win outcome is in the forecast okay so you are going to have resolution okay we have don't let pride get in your way so if someone offers you help if someone offers you guidance don't let your pride step in, Capricorn. Accept graciously. Be grateful for the, the giving, the generosity. And it's time to release negativity. 
stay away from negative energy. Negative energy is just going to slow the outcome. So you want to stay in a positive attitude. Stay away from drama. Um, try to limit conflict in any way. But raising your vibration to a more positive vibration will actually bring your outcome much faster. Be bold and make the first move, Capricorn. I feel like that's very, very good advice. Let's see. Let's get some more cards for Capricorn. What's coming for the next 48 hours for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? Change. Change is coming. A change is coming, Capricorn. This situation is going to be resolved and you're going to have victory. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, if you feel like things are being a little stagnant with this Knight of Pentacles energy, things are moving. Things are evolving. You're going through change. Even if you don't notice it at the moment, Capricorn, change is definitely on the way. And have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. So we saw that with the temperance card. Having patience is very important at the moment. Um, having patience in this situation will find you balance. Stay grounded. And we have death. So yeah, something is coming to an end. We saw that with the world card. So you've been through some kind of completion. Some kind of lesson was learned. But something is ending in order to push through to a new beginning. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Definitely. So something is starting for you. Capricorn. Something is definitely starting. We have relationships on the bottom. So that may be the lover's card that came in. You may be. Uh, there may be one relationship that's ending. But a new relationship is being created. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Definitely. I'm loving that for you. Some things, sometimes things have to end so that bigger and better things can come into our life. Okay, let's get some more cards for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn in the next 48 hours, please? What does Capricorn need to know? Holy love. Yes, you are being loved unconditionally. Spirit wants you to know that you are loved. This could also be this love that's coming in for you, Capricorn. And cut the cords. There are definitely things that maybe need to be released in order for bigger or better things to come into your life. So take a look at your position. Take a look at the things around you. What needs to be released, Capricorn? And then surrender. Surrender to, to the divine. Let your guides, let the universe, let your angels take control. You know, um, they want to push you through a new perspective about things a new I, I feel like you're going on this new journey Capricorn I feel like there are so many good things that are coming for you so don't feel defeated on little things that are lost because I feel like bigger things are coming into your life Definitely. Someone feels like a victim. Someone feels like they've been really betrayed. They've been really viewed in a bad way. But Capricorn, your perception is key. Sometimes changing our perception, changing the way we look at a situation will help the situation out. And facade. So, yeah, be careful for this person with the Seven of Swords energy. Because someone wants to tell you stories. Someone wants to betray you in some kind of way. I need some more energy for this facade. What is this? What else does Capricorn need to know? 
there's a soulmate coming in. There's a soulmate energy that's here. We've seen that with the lovers. Something's coming in. And impartiality. So that's the need to be balanced. So you definitely need to find balance this week, uh, Capricorn. You know what? I'm going to take... I'm going to look at this other deck and see what's coming in for Capricorn because I want a little bit more clarity on this. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know for the next 48 hours? What does Capricorn need to know, please? What's coming in? The Seven of Swords again. Yeah, someone is coming in. They're trying to betray you. They're trying to take something. This is someone who's being dishonest. Yes, we have the moon. Someone's being dishonest. Someone's not telling you the whole story. Someone's not being truthful. So beware of that energy, Capricorn. Beware of that energy. Someone's being dishonest. Yeah, and I feel like you know the truth. Something is going to bring you to this wisdom to this clarity and i feel like whatever this is whoever this is they're going to be found out this is going to be opened up you know this is going to be totally exposed and i feel like you're getting a different perspective about this person because of the situation and it's pushing you forward you're finding your truth you're finding the truth out in the situation this is a fast-talking person. This is someone who tells a lot of lies. They may not know how to speak the truth. We have the King of Swords, definitely. The King of Swords, he's going to cut through all the lies and he's going to get straight to the truth. He's going to figure this person out very quickly. The King of Swords, he's very strategic. He's very intentional, logical very intelligent you can't lie to the king of swords the king of swords will see right through it and i feel like that's what's going on capricorn you're going to see right through this person's lies you're going to see right through their betrayal okay well this is what i have for you capricorn so if this reading resonates Please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, Capricorn, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.